what's up? Today I want to show you my Greek kreatopita recipe or Greek meat pie or minced pie, also known as kimadopita. Very delicious dish. In my case today, I am using puff pastry instead of filo. You can use whichever you prefer. It is totally fine. A few very basic ingredients, but it's going to be like just a shot of flavor and an explosion in your mouth. So, first thing is first, I am using a pound and a half of lean ground beef. I'm just going to fire this up. And what we're going to do first and foremost is start browning off our beef. Now, this is a recipe that's got a few variations. Some people make it with bechamel. Some people use veggies in it. it whatever is, is you want basically will work. In this case, this is more along the lines of a Puritan style. So, in my pan, we'll go about two, three, four tablespoons of my Greek extra virgin olive oil. So, get that off and going. By the way, don't forget, preheat your oven 400 degrees Fahrenheit or about 200 degrees Celsius. Get that off and going so that way... It's one less thing to worry about when we actually get there. So I'm just going to take my ground beef and I'm just going to just break it up into my pan. All right, now time for a little uh, seasoning. I'm going to do a little bit of salt. Take it easy on the salt because in this recipe is about 150 grams or so of feta. And feta is on the salty or briny side, so you don't want to kind of go overkill. I'm also going to do some fresh cracked black pepper in this. Pepper always goes good with anything. Fresh cracked is always best. All right, that's done. A little bit of a flavor enhancer. And I mean a little bit. I'm talking like an eighth of a teaspoon of cumin will go into this. And I'm going to add this in at this stage where... You don't want it overpowering. You want that little kiss in the background. The next part of this recipe is actually getting the, the amped up flavor in our kima or our minced meat. For this, I'm going to use my mini me food processor. I've got literally one onion. I'm just going to quarter it up and throw it in here and let our food processor do all the work. Now, before I forget, I've got a couple of bay leaves I'm going to throw in to my ground beef. I just want to get the flavors of the bay, and then once it's time to kind of put it together, I'm going to take it out. So in go my onions. This will not take long at all. That's perfect there. Wow. Turns it into a nice, like, puree. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So... Getting back to this now. My meat is browning nicely. Now that the, the bay leaf has hit the heat, the flavors are starting to come out of that as well. The aromas. Oh my God. Meals like this, you just can't beat. You just can't beat at all. Nothing like a little ground meat and bay leaf facial does wonders for the pores. So, into this, I'm adding my ground or my pureed onion. The finer you can get this, the better. This is where, you know, consistency matters. I don't want huge chunks of onion. I don't want to bite into that. I want the flavor of the onion. So I'm just going to leave that there because believe me, we are going to use this again. All right, so now our minced meat is doing its thing. Time to add a little something extra to the mix. And for this, I'm also adding to my kimadopita or to my kreatopita mini portobello mushrooms. You can use whatever mushrooms you have. I'm just using half a dozen. You can use more, you can use less. You can totally even omit this step. It is totally fine. And what I do here is I cube them up or I quarter them first before I put them into my uh, food processor here So, because I'm going to pulse this. I don't want to pulverize these. 
I want them into small, small chunks, but nothing overbearing or overpowering. And just real quick, pulse these. You don't want anything too fine, like we said. You just want these pulsed up into smaller bits. And just keep checking on them. Perfect. Just like that. Let me take this out of here. And I'm going to throw those in there. And these mushrooms are going to add yet another earthiness, another earthy depth of flavor to my creatopita. And again, I keep confusing the name Kimadopita, Creatopita, Greek meat pie. Perfect. And now those will have a little bit of liquid in them, a little bit of water. Well, that's what mushrooms mostly are. So once that releases its water, it'll also help deglaze my pan. For this, I am using puff pastry. I'm also going to bake this off in a 12-inch round ceramic uh, baking dish. Now, when it comes to puff pastries, I find them way easier to use than the traditional uh, filo. For those of you that are just starting out uh, doing these kinds of recipes, there's less work involved. It's only basically one sheet. So I'm just going to pull this apart here, and I'm going to divide this in half. Nothing complicated at all. Set this aside. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to form this into a little ball. My baking dish is round. This is done, by the way. My baking dish is done. I want this to be round as well. So I'm just going to take a little bit of flour so I can work my surface here. And again, use whatever you're comfortable with. Take this, put this down like that. My peacemaker. This is something that is essential in baking. And all I'm gonna do is slowly just start rolling this out as evenly as you can. And like I said, we're not going for perfection. This isn't made in a factory. We're making this at home, and it is going to be absolutely amazing. And when things don't go perfect in the kitchen, it's all about the rustic cooking, baby. There we go. And just keep rolling this out and rolling it out. Oh, and by the way, to the heroes out there that make your own, like, puff pastry, my hack goes off to you, man. There we go. So now, this is ready to go. I'm going to take this. I'm just going to place it in my pan on the bottom. And let's see. Oh, pretty damn close. Not bad at all. Perfect. Just like that. Not too bad, eh? Leave this off to the side here. Same deal with the our top dough that's going to go in here we're going to do the exact same thing make it into a round round shape so that way we have the top of this now before we start on the top let's work on our filling or get our filling ready our bay leaves have served their purpose just get rid of those now and all I'm going to do is take this and just pour it into my phyllo or my puff pastry. Just like that. Perfect. And just spread it evenly throughout the bottom. So that way when this bakes, it'll cook evenly. Oh my gosh. This is really something. Really, really nice. Perfect. Just like that. That's done and ready to go. The next part of this is my feta. And we cannot forget of the feta in this case. This is what's going to add to the flavor profile. And it's also going to bring us that salty, briny deliciousness that we all love, or most of us love. 
I know there are a few of you out there that have written to me that uh, don't like feta. In this case, you can use whatever you like. You could also use Asiago, will work really good. Uh, you can use cheddar. You can use any other kind of like cheese that melts pretty decently. You can use perfect, just like that. Isn't that like a picture? That's fantastic. Let me just do this real quick. And by the way, if you are handling dough of any kind, whether it's puff pastry or whatever, try and keep your hands as dry as possible for these kind of things because you're going to get this clumpy mess and it's just going to be not a good thing. So again, with this, get the peacemaker out and happening and just start rolling this out. And every time you change direction, flip it over so you get a more or less even kind of uh, uh, kind of shape. All right, I'm done. Let me just put this over like this. Oh, went a little bit too far. Just like that. And tuck in the sides so that way you shape it to the, the pan you're using. By the way, you can use a square pan. You can use whatever uh, type of pan you have available. So this is good right there, just like that. That's awesome. Now, let me just bring this here. So now, the next phase of our kimadopita is to take your knife and just poke a couple of holes, like three or four holes in the middle of it, so that way it won't balloon on you. Next and final thing of this before I actually bake it off, I'm going to take a little bit of water, not much at all, and I'm just going to put water on the top, dampen the surface of my puff pastry, because what I want to do is add a little bit of sesame seeds to this, and it's going to give it a really nice touch to this. So let me leave that there. Got some sesame seeds here, and just sprinkle them around. You can go as many as you like. You can uh, do for this... I've made this with like Montreal steak seasoning. I've made this with like uh, rye seeds. I made this with poppy seeds. You know what, whatever, whatever you like will absolutely work. So that's it, ready to go. Again, 400 degrees for about uh, 45 minutes, give or take, depending on your oven, and it'll be perfectly delicious. And now the moment of truth, my creatopita or my Greek minced meat pie or just, just meat pie in general is absolutely done to perfection. I let this kind of sit for a few minutes to set. It is, oh, the smells in here are absolutely remarkable. I'm just going to take a little piece, I'm going to cut a piece here because I've been waiting for this. Wow. Pretty much all day. And now, I'm just going to just cut into this so you can kind of see what's what. Let me just grab this. And it's always that first piece that ends up getting like a little screwy, but we're going to do our best here. Oh. oh, yeah. Look at this. Just look at this. This is absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh, the smells are absolutely remarkable. Look at this. Crispy on top. Oh my God, mm. Mm, mm, mm. that, oh gosh, I'm sorry, I just, wow, mm. that was so freaking delicious, it is unbelievable, that onion, the mushrooms, that little hint of cumin in there. 
absolutely remarkable. So my friends, that's it for this episode on my Greek meat pie or my uh, kreatopita or kimadopita. Super delicious to make, very easy. And if you do the puff pastry like I did, it's even easier. You just roll it out or if you make a square one, totally, totally fine. And I thank you so much for watching. Thank you for letting me share this video with you. Share this with others. Make this yourself. It's going to be a hit. Don't forget to check me out online as well at kensgreektable.com for this recipe and so many more. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And until next time, I thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.